Hi, my name is Paul Dixon, and I'm uh, here today to describe a collection which I acquired some years ago. Uh, the, the, the basis of the collection is a woman named Kathleen L. Hungerford, a woman who lived in, in Maryland, in the District of Columbia, and in 1922 on a lark, she headed for Hollywood. And when she got to Hollywood, one of the things she discovered she was, uh, was the easy accessibility of the great silent film stars. So almost immediately she started to re meet the big, big names of Hollywood at that time. William S. Hart, the cowboy actor, Wallace Berry, Douglas Fairbanks Jr., uh, Pickford, uh, uh, um, uh, the Pickford sisters, uh, on and on, Charlie Chaplin, Paula Negre, I said that already, um, and many of the character actors, the Indians who played in the films and, and many of the young African-American actors who were playing in films. Um, and she became so enamored of this whole thing that she came back later and wrote a book about it. And she got involved in their lives out there, which is called Early Hollywood Crazy Quilt. And it was her own recollection of that, and it's all very specified in the book. She also created a series from her photographs and her collected uh, photography. She also created a, a Magic Lantern show that she would show at various theaters around in various uh, charitable groups and give her lecture about all these people in Hollywood. So what I'm going to show you today is first is the book, the extremely rare book, her own Hollywood crazy quilt with a lot of, of, of the very pictures you're going to see the originals of. And she also created, she had at first a scrapbook, and I'll just open to a page in the scrapbook and have you look over my shoulder. But um, the scrapbook, and you'll see some missing pieces, I'll show you those later, but these are pictures of all of the famous people uh, that she met and all the, their dogs. She went to their houses. Um, here are pictures with her. These, these are Chinese children in Los Angeles, Chinatown, um, Universal City. This is all the comedy actors for Universal City. Um, I'm just jumping around at, almost at will here. Um, this is a recreation of Mount Vernon out in Hollywood. These are some of the African-American actors uh, that she, she encountered in, in, out, out in the West. Again, more African-American views, um, views of the pilgrimage play in, the, in Hollywood. Um, here's the set for The Hunchback of Notre Dame. She got many, many behind-the-scenes uh, photographs taken. And again, there are, here, here are American Indians who are out there to, who star in the Westerns. Uh, They're in a movie called Broken Horse. Um, and then there are the famous people in here, too, Jackie Coogan in Oliver Twist. And again, there's a... There are archery contests where she goes to see um, William Fairbanks Jr. In, in these contests. So the content here is pretty remarkable. Um, again, scenes from the filming of, of Ivanhoe, um, scenes from Robin Hood that were being shot, shot at that time. Um, here again, um, three outlaws from Robin Hood. And again, she had what, what she could never get over was the amazing access she had to these people. And I'll... And there were other, I'm going to show you other pictures. There are about 300 total. Some are prepared pictures. Some are Paola Negri, for example. Some of these, she, they were given to her. Many of them were autographed by the great stars. Uh, Seshu Hayakawa. Uh, this is Valentino. That's not autographed. But this is Jackie Coogan. Um, this is William H. Crane, who was one of the um, uh, studio executives. Again, I'm not even sure this guy is. Says along with another Jackie Coogan. Natalie Talmadge. Um, these are, again, actresses and actors. Um, Bru a guy named Bruce Rice. William S. Hart, the famous cowboy actor. These are the, um, the baby Betty and Jackie Coogan autographed. Um, she got to know all these people in the course of her. Um, uh, Frank Carter, I could go on and on, but there's star after star, and many of them contain elaborate uh, notes on the back either by her or by the person that the picture is being taken of. Norma Talmadge. They go on and on. This is signed by William S. Hart. She gets William S. Hart's uh, um, marriage is breaking apart when she's out there, and she gets involved with Mrs. Hart and trying to get them back together again. She becomes part... She's not only just sort of an observer, but she becomes part of the action itself. She gets involved in their lives. And all of these things are detailed in the book. And I could just... These are the large still photos. Um, many of them building sets. Okay, here's Constant Talmadge, that sign. Gloria Swanson, sign. These are these are the people that she met. 
Um, and so this is a, between 1922 and 1924, this is a huge sort of, and I'll just flip through at this point, but the pictures of themselves, uh, these are taken at weddings. And again, there's many, uh, many of the photographs have huge amount of detail on the back, which somebody who w wants to do some work with these or create the turn them in another book, Richard Dix, another famous actor. But these go on and on. There are about 300 and some odd photographs in this whole collection. And I'm not counting dupes, there's some duplicates. Um, and th this again, another set, but I'll jump ahead here. And again, you're gonna see a lot of these are, are very high, heavily annotated. So she's describing how some of these scenes are made. This is her with Mrs. Uh, with Paula Negri uh, in front of Paula Negri's home. Uh, there's Mrs. Hungerford, one of the few pictures of her. This is one of the stars of their dog. And I'll jump ahead, Harold Lloyd, the famous comic actor. And these are pictures that were either in this book or separate versions of pictures. And they were used, and this is a Constant Talmadge uh, again. And, there, and there's a lot of pictures in here with Ch Charlie Chaplin. Again, I'm, you know, it's impossible to go through them all, but there's large numbers, again, taken behind the scenes. Um, this is Douglas Fairbanks Jr., the next page, when he was 13 years old. He comes beyond, goes to become a very famous star in his own right. Um, Will Hayes, who's the head of the, who's the guy who is the censor, the famous Hayes office, is in here. She gets to know uh, Hayes. And there are pictures here I, I'm just going to go through very quickly. But you'll start to see and get an idea of how much is in here. Um, I haven't gotten to the chaplains yet, the Charlie Chaplin. But again, original our gang, and they're t and they're very carefully annotated with all the names and in you know manuscript. Um, and again, Jackie Coogan. We're going to go on and on. This is a famous one of uh, this is Charlie Chaplin and Gloria Swanson, and in the book she describes how. They're, she meets them coming out of a drugstore, and Swanson and Chaplin are hugely uh, big actors and actresses at that point, and their contracts don't allow them to be photographed together. They're with two different studios. So she gets what she claims is the only pictures of these two mega stars of the time. And uh, again, this is Fairbanks Sr. dressed up as, you know, in his Robin Hood outfit. So I could go on and on. They just, mm -hmm. there are more and more of these pictures. Um, they're not all famous people, but boy, I'd say 75% of them are key to the history of Hollywood. There's Lon Chaney as the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Tom Mix, the famous cowboy, dressed up in a, with a turban for reasons un, unclear. Uh, and they, the, the riches in this collection are, are pretty remarkable. Um, so I'll also show you this. Again, I could go on and on, but you, I think you get the gist of it. Here's another one of um, Chaplin and and Swanson, another view from that same day. And he, these pictures in terms of the history of Hollywood and the archaeology of Hollywood are phenomenal. So the collection is, is this sort of shabby notebook with a lot of the stuff orig as was really glued in. Some of the stuff that's been taken out is now in here, I think, with all of it. And the, and the, these, this huge album of photographs, the large 8 by 20s and the snapshots, the book. And then the, coup de, the, the final thing is she prepares from the snapshots a collection of, and these are very fragile, and they weigh a ton, and they're hard as heck to get out of the box, but you will see very carefully labeled um, uh, uh, magic lantern slides. And of course, these were, at the time, these were there was an electric light behind them, and they would be rejected on the screen. She had spent part of her time, before she went to Hollywood, as a, as a piano player in a silent movie house. So she had a very close relationship with all these people. And this... The slideshow she put on about the time the book came out in 1949. So, um, and again, the, there, there is the whole slideshow is here. I, I don't think there's a. I know I've gone through them all. There may be a one or two cracked slides, but they're they're all intact, and um, but they're in marvelous, unbelievable condition. They were kept in this extremely uh, sort of versatile box. That's the whole thing weighs about 50 pounds. So that's the that's the collection I'll be offering. Thank you.